what's going on everyone welcome back to my channel so i'm going to be doing a daily message for the collective here we got three piles pile one hematite pile two we got pyrite and for pile three we have garnet Timestamps are always going to be down below keep in mind that this is a general and timeless reading take what resonates leave the rest let's get into it for those of you who chose pile one hematite let's get into your daily message all right so you have boundaries be a woman of confidence and self-respect. Love yourself enough to set boundaries and give them a reason worth fighting for. Interesting. So it's time for you to set some boundaries. You have the Fool. You have the Five of Cups. You have the Eight of Cups. You have Masculine Spirit, Action, Power, Dominance. And you have High Priestess of Water. The number four could be significant for you. So heavy water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You could have water in your birth chart, okay? I really feel like you could be dealing with um someone who's very controlling or this masculine, this divine masculine energy is coming up as someone who is a person of power, a man of action, and could be a little on the controlling side is the energy that I'm getting. And I'm also picking up like cold vibes from this divine masculine okay i feel like some things have changed if it definitely feels as if maybe this person has walked away from you all right and i'm also picking up with the high priestess of water like i said you could definitely have water in your chart but this card here is talking about <clears throat> water being a transform a transforming element that flows in rivers and you know like that water energy okay so when you draw the symbol of water it signifies a time when things in your life are changing shape right before your eyes go with the flow okay as these changes are powerful signs of wondrous experiences lessons and gifts if you don't if you don't understand these changes at the moment, you will later. So I'm getting, yeah, this could be in regards to somebody walking out of your life, okay? Um, I'm getting strong masculine energy, very dominant. But this person walked away from you. And they could have left you in your feelings, left you hurt emotionally here with the Five of Cups, okay? But Spirit is saying this is, there's a lesson for you to learn in this. It's time for you to set boundaries, okay? Because I feel like this person could be taking a leap of faith towards you, okay? And it's time for you to set boundaries, yeah. Um, if they if they want to fight for you, you have to... You have to um, Basically, like you have to set boundaries, and if they claim that they want you, they're going to have to work for it. They're going to have to fight for you is the energy that I'm picking up. Um, yeah, because I'm picking up with the Eight of Cups. I feel like this person declined your offer or, um, you know, they just, I feel like they didn't appreciate you this person walked away like that's the energy that i'm picking up so it's time for you to set boundaries for yourself have self-respect and have confidence in yourself in your abilities you know what i mean like have confidence in yourself and don't allow someone to walk all over you don't allow this person to come in and out of your life is the energy that i'm picking up okay so i'm gonna leave it there if this reading resonates with you in any way like share and subscribe i'll see you next time for those of you who chose pile two, we got pyrite. All right. <laughs> I love this stone. Let's get into your reading daily message. So you have hidden info. It says, babe, you don't have all of the facts. Something is being kept hidden. Could be their feelings, a third party, or their true intentions. Remain cautious. Okay. So I'm getting there's something hidden, maybe hidden enemies surrounding you. Okay interesting so spirit is saying for you to be alert be cautious okay we have the eight of pentacles we have the eight of swords we have the three of pentacles could be surrounding work we have the spirit of the fog unclear confusion and shadiness interesting okay and then you have high priestess of earth okay earth energy towards virgo capricorn you can have earth in your charts okay in your birth chart but i'm getting something is hidden from you this could be either something surrounding work that's definitely what i'm picking up with the eight of pentacles and the three of pentacles i feel like there could either be maybe people around you that could be very shady i'm, I'm getting people that you work with okay there could have been some sort of a third party or something 
okay take it take it however it resonates but spirit is saying for you to be on guard something is either being kept hidden from you again i don't know why this is a, this feels like either a third party or some sort of a work situation where it's time for you to you know go with your intuition that's what i'm picking up with the high priestess of earth um this could either be there's some shadiness going on surrounding your work your job there could be people on your job that that doesn't have good intentions yeah i'm hearing this is something around surrounding work i'm hearing either co-workers or somebody that you work with could be trying to get you to do something that's not that that either goes against the rules or something of that sort yeah because even with the high priestess of earth spirit is asking you not to they're asking you to wait until you see tangible evidence of what you seek to understand about this relationship so it's like something about you needing to get more insight before you do a certain thing. I, I, yeah, I feel like this is surrounding work. So maybe some people that you're working with, maybe they're trying to put you up to do something that goes against the company rules or something of that sort. It's some sort of shady shit. This could be in regards to the way that you do your work. Maybe you're really skillful. Maybe you're really good. I don't know why I feel like people that you're working with or either co-workers that could be surrounding you these people don't want to see you elevate they don't or maybe you do the the work better than they do or something of that sort but there is some sort of hidden deception shady shit going on here surrounding work and we got the eight of swords here which is talking about like restrictions um yeah, and I'm getting, I don't know why I feel like these people or this person is that's at your workspace or that's at your workplace, this people, this person could be saying like, it's okay for you to do something. But again, I just feel like this goes against company rules or company policy and they could be making it seem like it's all in your mind. There's nothing for you to worry about is the energy that I'm getting, but it's bullshit. And I'm hearing you need to get all of the facts before you take action. You need to get all of the facts. That's what I'm getting. I'm picking up from both of these energies with this hidden info. Spirit is saying that you don't have all the facts. Something is being kept hidden. And with this um, high priestess of earth, Spirit is asking you to wait until you see tangible evidence or something, something of that sort surrounding work. Okay, so we want to leave it there. Um... I'm also getting for some of you, somebody could want you to go into business with them, but you need to wait, like make sure you read through the contract or something of that sort. It's something that's shady or hidden or unknown, okay, about this situation, whether this be, whether this is a work situation, um, a business opportunity or something of that sort. The number three could be definitely significant is what I'm picking up. And I'm getting like a group setting, okay, some sort of partnerships or some some sort of expanding when it comes to business, some sort of initial success or some shit like that. So, yeah, just keep in mind, you know, take what resonates. This is a general reading. All right, I'm going to leave it there. We got a lot of earth energy here, okay, that's self-explanatory. Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We also have air energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius could be any sign though that's what i'm getting if this reading resonates with you in any way like share and subscribe and also go with your intuition i'll see you next time for those of you who chose pile three we have garnets let's get into your reading all right so you have hot gossip okay it's sad how some people are so jealous of you that they only have negative things to say when they know nothing about you so we have people that are gossiping that don't even know you from a fucking can of paint like don't even know you from nowhere and they're gossiping about you okay i'm also picking up jealousy yeah i'm getting these people are sad pathetic jealous negative Okay, 
this I'm getting these are people that don't even know you there's a lot of gossip surrounding pile three okay yeah I'm getting people that don't even know you gossiping about you they don't know shit about you but they're talking negative about you and don't know shit about you all right we got the ace of pentacles we got the king of swords we got the three of cups could be more than one person we have spirit of the gesture thief trickster hustler and you have forbidden the number 18 could be significant for you i'm picking up a masculine energy that could be talking shit about you as well men do gossip as well okay um this could be also like an ex-friend or um I'm getting, I don't know why I'm picking up a group of people. Maybe this is somebody that don't even know you. Yeah. The, or this could be somebody that's connected to a masculine energy. King of Swords, Air Energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Okay. So take the messages however they resonate. But I'm getting like people that could be surrounding someone. Um, this masculine energy is gossiping about you. Um, wow. I'm hearing like people are saying that for some reason like you could be taking money you could be a thief or stealing something or um i'm also getting like oh, wow people are saying like or whoever this person or people are again this could be someone that this could be someone that you don't know but this could be someone that you don't know but they know someone that you no, like if that makes any sense, okay. So, um, oh, okay. So, this person is gossiping about how you make your money or something, something about your money. Um, yeah, something about money with the ace of pentacles here. This person could also gossip, or these people could also be gossiping about you again. Like I said, they know nothing about you, but they could be gossiping about maybe you, maybe you like to date or. Um, you're dating or entertaining multiple people, more than one person. Um, and that's interesting. We have forbidden here. And I'm also picking up, okay, so th that makes sense. Because I'm like, where is all of this spirit is saying? <laughs> the person that's gossiping about you, this person could be talking very negative about you because they might not want others to be interested in you. This could be surrounding love, maybe a past, a past lover, an ex-lover, an ex-friend, okay? Because we do have this forbidden card here, okay? Um... Yeah, I'm getting like, this is a symbol of like forbidden. It kind of feels as if either one or two things, you could be feeling a lot of pain when someone rejects you. Um, I'm getting rejection though. That's what I'm hearing. So maybe this person that's gossiping about you, they could be jealous or mad that you rejected them as well is what I'm picking up. Yeah, I'm getting this person is gossiping about you, either how you make your money, um, who you're dating. Yeah, they're gossiping about how much money you make or at least how much money they think you're making. They're gossiping and they don't know shit about you. But I feel like this could be, for some of you, this could be a small portion of you. This could be an ex that could be talking shit about you, um, gossiping about you, trying to make others see you in a negative light. Um, it's almost as if, like, like, you're forbidden. They don't want anyone to deal with you or connect with you. Because this forbidden card... It's talking about like rejection. Um, this card talks about relationships that are not good for you. Um, this card also talks about um, like staying away from something or someone. Like it's not good to deal with this person. So. The gossip around you could be like this masculine gossiping about you trying to keep people away from you, making up all different types of shit, okay? Um, trying to get others to see you in a negative light. That's the energy that I'm picking up. And this could also be... Um, spirit could be stopping you or...
cautioning you to not enter into a situation with this king of swords um this person may have gossiped about you um this person may have other options as well um is what i'm picking up as well <laughs> yeah because we got thief trickster and hustler so that's what I have. I'm going to leave it there. We have water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We have air energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And we got earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. However, could be any sign. All right. You could be any sign. The number 18 could be significant for you as well. If this reading resonates with you in any way, like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you next time.